Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. So just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson. And get ready. We're about to begin. Today what we're going to do is we're going to change out this piece of weather stripping right here on the door. And I'll show you why. Because down here at the bottom, the last people who lived here scuffed it up so much they actually put a piece of, it feels like a napkin, and then they put clear tape over top of it. And you can see here, it's pretty, pretty roughed up in this area here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you how to take this off. I'm going to show you how to put on the new one. All right, so for the most part, this is supposed to slide right out. There is a groove here in this part of the wood. It's right in, on the inside. I'll show you. Hang on, let me see if we can get this thing out of here. Oh, oh, it's coming out next. All right, that's good. All right. You can see this groove that's right here. Let's pull this up here so you can see it. There's this groove that's right there. And with insulation, this looks like the whitish piece. It's rigid and it slides into that groove. Nine times out of 10, it fits in pretty good. So let's see what happens today. So let me finish pulling this out here. And we're gonna get down to this interesting area down here where the, what looks like a napkin and some tape. And take that tape off of there. Okay, that slid up pretty nice. That's nice. All right, there's a little bit of residue for the sticky stuff from the tape on there. You know how you get that off? That's right, nail polish remover. All right, so we've got this groove in here. It's pretty clean. Now, take a look at this. That's how chewed up that thing was. Look at that. It looks like there was a dog here just chewing on it. And then they put this napkin here. I hope it's a napkin and they put tape on it. That really does look like a dog was chewing on that. All right, enough of that. Let's put in this one here. Now, these are a little bit longer than they should be, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a razor knife, which is in our tool bag. All right, so the way to put these in is you make sure, you can see that this is the rigid part, and you can see that it's, it kinda looks like this and you want this curved piece on the outside of the door, okay? So when, it, when the door closes, this smooshes in, smooshes in, smooshes in. And if you put it in the wrong way, then it's, you actually can't put it in because it's not gonna work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the top and we're gonna cut off the bottom. So let's pull this up like this. We're going to start at the top, okay? I'm taking this rigid part right here, I'm putting it inside this groove, and it should slide right in. And you just push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. You getting the idea? What do you think? Push it, that's right. So we're going to go all the way down. can't tell I'm a one-man camera outfit. I'm doing the camera work too. All right, so I'm gonna push it, push it, push it, push it. And let's go all the way down to the bottom here. Now you can see, now you're probably wondering, well, why didn't I just measure from here to here all the way up and then cut it off before I put it in? Because there's always that chance you're gonna cut it short. If you cut it short, you can't add on to it. But if you, if you leave it long, you can have a little bit more, you have a little bit more room to get in there and, and cut it the right way. All right, so I'm at that point where I need the razor knife. And I'm pushing this in. 
So I'm gonna cut it a little bit long. Now that rigid part is a piece of plastic, so it's gonna be kind of tough to cut. So you just gotta be patient with it. All right, so I'm gonna, I see where it stops. I'm bending it just a little bit to make a crease and then I'm going to cut the plastic part first that goes into the groove. And then I'm going to cut the rest of it because it's basically a foam, uh, foam covered with, with plastic. All right. And now I've done this before, so I know that this is going to fit right. So this, we're going to put this in, into the groove. And not only does it touch the bottom here, it has to touch the bottom there or you're going to get airflow coming in. And that's the whole purpose for this um, door strip insulation. I only cut off that much. That's all there should be. Okay. All right. So close that up, toss it over there. I'm going to go up one more time to check just to make sure everything is good. And I'll let you watch that. So I do this. Here we go. And we're going to go up. Just to make sure everything is nice and tight. And it touches here. This corner's got to touch, and the base has got to touch. So let's move you out of the way. And let's see if that door closes nice. Now, just before I go ahead and close this, I want to let you know that because it's brand new, the other one was accustomed to having the door in there smushing it. So it kind of made its own little seat in there. This is brand new, so it sticks out just a little bit more. You might have to shove the door a little bit harder. And it goes in perfect. Look at that, watch. That's nice, that's, that's what I want. And I see no light coming in from the garage coming into here. So that's good news. That's what you want. This was easy. Uh, how long did it take? It didn't take hardly anything at all. The door weather strip is available over at any one of the um, hardware stores or big box stores. Uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, Ace. Uh, they all have them. Now, this is a metal door and it's considered an exterior door. Now this insulation that's on here has been replaced once before and I can tell that because uh, on a metal door, an exterior metal door, that insulation should have a magnet that goes all the way down it. So when you close the door, you, you can almost hear it go like your refrigerator. When you close your refrigerator, it just the suction's right there. That's, that doesn't have it, that's more for you know, that's, it's cheap insulation, that kind of thing. But that's what was on it. And since it's a white door, I should have used a white uh, trimmer on there. I should have used the white door insulator. But because I was replacing the brown, I used the brown. And actually, for this demonstration, brown is easier to see than white. So for about oh, less than $10, uh, you have no more air leakage coming in. That weather strip is, is replaced, and you're the hero of the house. Your bills are going to stay down a little bit, and that's good, and every penny counts. Now, if you would, please subscribe, 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 subscribe. Thank you very much. Now, you can do this. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. Of course you can do it. They can do it. You can do it. Just have someone show you how, like I did. And I'll see you on the next video.